The Lady of the Lake told me to wait for guidance from a queen I killed to find my way to the shards of Arthur's soul. Her annoyingly cryptic remark alluded to Queen Guinevere, of course. So I wasn't surprised when I received a message from Queen Guinevere by a raven that could talk. Guinevere is under siege. If I help her, I will get that promised guidance. a ragtag army. Savage Picts and cunning cutthroats from the woods. Why are they laying siege to Guinevere's castle? Somebody must have sent them here. The man who killed me. Imagine my surprise when I heard about your arrival in Avalon. Still, you recognized me, as I can recognize the darkness of your soul, darker than the feathers of my ravens. Help! You are an option, my best, my only option. I am a priestess of the Lady of the Lake, and you serve her. She sent you here, and she knows why. Do you now? You sound almost like Sir Lancelot. Get a move on, then. We are running out of time. I can't hold the walls much longer. My castle is under siege. I will await you here. Follow my ravens and do what you always do. Kill everyone who stands in your way. Please. Destroy their advance guard first, then we can talk. It won't be a problem. Sinner shall bleed. No mercy for the wicked. Time to feed the ravens. for the wicked. Power and glory. C 
mercy for the wicked. Power and glory. Blessings. None can stand in my way. This is how I remembered you, Sir Mordred. Covered in blood, seething with fury. Flattery doesn't suit you, Mordred. Besides, my time as a queen is over. This tower is my last domain, and I am losing it. Rabble. Morgals lured savages here to weaken my defenses, while her real army is preparing for the final charge. Not here in the camp, but yes, she is here in Avalon. I found her presence just as surprising as yours. That would have been something, but no. Her pits found their way to this island, and they brought her back. She also employs bands of mercenaries. The Picts are her elite warriors. With an army like that, she could conquer the entire island. This is not my side, Mordred, but yours. Arthur has fallen, and you are the only one who was chosen by the Lady. Prove yourself. I will never forget what you did, but Avalon needs you. Arthur is gone, and all that remains of him is a terrible monster. It must be destroyed. Yes. They built a siege engine on this side of the tower, and a picked shaman is preparing a powerful spell on the other. We have to stop them before it's too late. It could make you a worthy man. Worthy of yourself, of the Lady of the Lake, and yes, of me too. Take me for Mordred. I can take care of myself and I will accompany you. Why would Morgoth send an army to lay siege to your tower? For the Excalibur. I kept the sword for Arthur, and Morgaus thinks it is still here. Sinners shall bleed. Blessings. The Lord is my witness. Your command. Blessings. What? No mercy for the wicked. Make up your mind. Ready. for you.
The Lord is my witness. Your command. None can stand in my way. My Camelot. No mercy for the wicked. Your command. I serve the law. for kneel before your king i can take them all i serve the lord no mercy for the wicked <laughs> for the wicked. I fight for honor. Make up your mind. my lord. I 
It's my hand. shall bleed. What are we waiting for? I fight for honor. for the wicked sinners shall bleed what are we waiting for enemies the pits brought her here they thought they could keep her in chains but now she rules them by fear and magic shall bleed your orders blessings sinners shall bleed I fight for honor your orders Ready. a 
at your service, my lord. The lord is my witness. Serve the Lord. For my Camelot. At your service, my Lord. Sinners shall bleed. Blessings. Blessings. For the wicked. Your command. Kneel before your king. Stand in my way. No mercy for the wicked. Sinner shall bleed. Time to feed the ravens. name and be saved. Shall bleed. Make up your mind. I fight for honor. assistance. This was an important victory, but you must know that the lady arranged this meeting for a reason. She wants us to talk about Arthur. I know you 
defeated the Knight of Midnight, and we both know about the shards of Arthur's soul. I can help you more than you think. The fragment you are looking for is embedded in the tortured flesh of the Fisher King. And when the King suffers, the land suffers with him. It happened to Arthur and Britannia, and so it is happening here again. Before the storm, this land belonged to King Pelham, a righteous ruler who devoted his life to the Christian God, but never tormented the followers of the old faith. Worse, reborn as the Fisher King, he is a monstrous fusion of Arthur and Pelham, ruling with an iron fist and through terror. No, Morgaus is leading the Picts against him. The wasteland is devouring their forests, and as long as the king is alive, the rot will spread. He lives in Corbenic, in King Pelham's castle. The Holy Grail was guarded there by Sir Percival, but after the storm, it all changed. The Grail is lost, and Sir Percival has been exiled. Now the castle is the heart of the wasteland and the king's sick soul is poisoning the land of Avalon from there. He is Arthur sometimes. He remembers me, but that fragment is barely more than his remaining hatred and suffering. The Fisher King almost never leaves his castle, but I can lure him out. Arthur's fragment has feelings for me. Be ready and wait for my call, Sir Mordred. We'll meet him, and together, we shall kill him. Watch me to take it all. Hmm. Let's have a look. Look there. Hey, we were here first. This is our loot. They're not with us, you bloody moron. Blessings. Sinners shall bleed. I serve the Lord. What are we waiting for? my witness. I serve the Lord. Blessings. No mercy for the wicked. Make up your mind. None can stand in my way. You are victorious. Garbage. A real treasure this time. First pick should be mine. What? For the wicked. I'm parched. Who's gonna pour me a drink? What is this thing? This may serve a higher purpose. 
riches to plunder. Ah, the joys of plunder. I have fought countless battles, never wavering. I hope that the Lord will forgive me for all the blood I've shed.